called the Black Hawk Helicopter Principle. And so, Black Hawk Helicopter, my understanding is it can handle like 250 different threats and opportunities against it. And it prioritizes them. If whoever was writing that code messed up, how serious is that? It's the lives of people. Right. <clears throat> all over the place. Right. And we're talking world peace because when you're talking a hotbed, especially where that's used. So to... when we go ahead and prioritization of it, prioritization of opportunities are really, really critical. Mm -hmm. So you've got to be able to prioritize your opportunities. And so the most important thing is for you to get box one, identify targets and then get consistent messages going out on a regular basis. If you know so Ed, I know something about Ed. You guys were here, but you probably don't know what I know. Why? I don't know. And so, Ed has a gift, I'm pretty sure, don't know for sure, but pretty sure he has a gift, at least in real estate, at least in Renatus, at least in that one situation, to write copy just a little bit different that went ahead and transformed it. Without Teresa and EVAs, it would not have happened, but without Ed's unconscious competence, it probably would not have happened either. It's the combination of both of those together that creates magic. If he's got that gift, Peter said, you know, I used to work with one of the big advertising agencies, Mark, you're a genius in, you know, writing copy. I've never seen anybody can write it so fast. Okay. Ed might be able to have, there's something golden in Ed. And he might, I mean, we're one message away from taking this group to 100 people. And I have no desire to do that. Because I can't, I can't go deep like I can go deep with just a few people. And I'd rather go deep because I'll make a whole lot more, more money off of a handful of people than 100 people. Mm -hmm. But if we had 20 of those groups that were all going deep, mm -hmm. uh, then I could help a lot of people make a lot of money. And so the first thing is get your database box one, box two, get these two things in place, and then everybody else. I mean, you know, uh, Joe, what's what's the number one thing he's got to do? Joe Tufel, Joe Pettit. Pettit. Number one thing he has to do is to show up here. Okay, so he has to show up, then what? Which he will. And then he's going to be giving us who he knows and his identifying his targets. No. Identifying targets, yes, giving us who you know. You don't when you're partnering up with other people, you everybody I mean, it's it's a crazy, it's insane to me <clears throat> on how people like they have twenty in their database. Hmm. I don't I don't know, Mark, if if I want to share it with you. I mean, what if <laughs> you already have those people in your database? <laughs> Right? Probably. Right? And I may have more data on them than they do. The people are people are very much protectionistic of their own network because they have so few. And so you have to communicate. You're, Joe is not giving us his database. He needs to put his own database together, and then he needs to put a message out to his database. Which, which message is he going to put out? Ours. Why? Because yeah. ours is a better message. Why? Because we've been working on it a long time and there's a lot of people that put into it. And so I'm going to find out. I want to see Edward's message because I want to take that message. I want to tweak it a little bit. I want to see if I can get my phone ringing off the hook. I, I want to see my message too. I <laughs> <laughs> Look at, it's huge. It's a win-win-win. But you know what's interesting? Say, yeah. What's interesting, we did the same message in two different localities, at least I think we did. Um, and the one locality got nothing. See, this is what Katrina and I have been working on every week. We have the same message going out to six different groups of people and then subgroups of different people and sometimes it resonates really good and sometimes not. It's like, this is insane. How are you supposed to figure this out? What did you discover though? We don't know. Well, I, I know I know what the difference is. What is? Yeah, I thought you would. Twenty five dollars. Okay. In the okay. Yeah. See, that's intriguing. I love this. Yeah.